I was wrong. No goal for Jamaica's 4x400 meter relay team in the finals on the last day of World Championships 2023. Plus, Lamar Distin does her best in the high jump, and Adele Tracy leaves a mark on the women's 800 meters. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit subscribe button so we can continue to come. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know the next video drops. You drop a video at least once a day until Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit that like button. And finally, leave your thoughts after this sports analysis where we take a look at it. We break down the races. So, ready? Yep. Good to go. Well, Jamaica's Adele Tracy, who is now the national Jamaica's national record record holder in the women's 800 meters. Wow, she has had a heck of a World Championships 2023 series, and I mean a heck of a World Championships series 2023. In the heats, the young lady broke the Jamaica national record in the 800 meters. In the semi-finals, she went through to the finals, which we did not anticipate, and also broke her own personal best and in the finals she set a new personal best that's three personal bests back to back people that's about outside of winning a medal that's the most any athlete can ask for and she did this three times three occasions heats semis and finals amazing amazing jamaica's adele tracy ended up in the seventh position in the finals the finals of the women's 800 meters with a new pbs i said again of one minute 58.41 seconds unbelievable kudos and congratulations adele tracy big up and bless up big up girl now lamar distin did not hit the medal podium in the finals of the women's high jump but ended up in the fifth position uh, i think that is a very admirable uh, position to end up Remember, people, these are the top 10 high jumpers on top eight high jumpers on the planet Earth. And she ended up in the seventh, the fifth position. Apologies, Lamara Distin. So I thought that was incredible. Um, of course, you know, she is a Commonwealth winner from last year, 2022. And she's now ended up fifth. This she's a very young person. This is a really good look for Jamaica. And we are looking at someone who could make a huge Huge statement in 2024 at the 2024 Paris Olympic Games. The winner of the women's high jump finals event was Man Huchik uh, from Ukraine. Uh, she's won silver on a few occasions. Incredible talent. And this time she walks away as a world champion in women's high jump. And of course, Jamaica Lamare Distin uh, jumped fifth uh, with a height of 1.94 meters. So congrats to Jamaica Zamara Destin. Did not make the podium but hit fifth on the final day of the World Championships in the women's high jump with a height of 1 meter 94. I thought that was a great effort and a good look. Paris is looks like it's in sight for this remarkable talent. So Jamaica entered the finals of the men's four by 400 meters i think as one of the clear medal favorites and we here at peter lloyd world looking at his stellar lineup uh starting with rasheen mcdonald to Ro roshan clark to zandrian barnes to of course antonio watson thought that we had a gold medal winning team and unfortunately on the day that just did not pan out you know that's that's the uh, athletics but we have to say we were completely wrong we calculated this based on crunching the numbers we knew that america was a massive threat america was the ones who ended up winning but we did think that we had a real possibility of winning a gold medal here and which is why we called it for a gold medal and i'm a big man um and you know i, I can't speak on the behalf of the team in this instance because this was my personal call i was wrong i was wrong i can't always write people i was wrong i was wrong I was wrong but 
but we will do a breakdown as to why i think this happened in another video at this point let's just say it was united states quincy hall to vernon norwood to justin robinson to rai benjamin who won in a world leading time of two minutes 57.31 jamaica came fourth in a time of two minutes 59.34 a season's best Trace Tua Dunt ran so well to qualify for them for this final. Watson pulling up alongside Rio Rich Mitchman. Mitchum was part of the, med the squad that picked up a silver medal in the mix 4 by 4 And Mitchum at the moment holding off Watson. The individual champion is going to be a gold for the United States. A silver for France. Nobody would have predicted. Now, this, of course, is my two cents. Yes, I was wrong. Um, we calculated based on the numbers, uh, based on the private, the performances. We saw other things that may have led to the reasons why we did not win the gold medal. But suffice it to say, the Americans dominated from the beginning to the end. They ran a brilliant race. Kudos and congrats to them. Um, and we, we, they were just the best of persons on the day. Um, also want to point out that we did not win medals in the high jump we did not win medals in the 800 meters the fact of the matter is well we personally here at peter lloyd world did not even believe adele tracy would have made it into the finals so we think that's a huge deal she came seventh she ran a personal best as i pointed out in the heat in the semi-finals and in the final setting national records on all three occasions actually so that's a huge huge accomplishment for an athlete um adele tracy you may or may not know this was not originally an 800 meter runner she was actually a 1500 meter runner so this bodes well for this young lady amazing namari distin commonwealth champion from last year fifth just off the podium this year in the high jump i also think that's a really really good look um one cannot only think about what's happening right now we ended up with 12 medals that's amazing fourth on the medal table which are going to have 2.9 million people and all the countries ahead of us had have millions and millions tens of millions of people and um, um, far more resources so i'm i'm still very pleased uh but as i stated we miscalculated particularly with the men's 400 meters because when we looked at the team at the team on paper the team was incredible i still think the team uh there were issues why they weren't able to deliver but look on the day they didn't deliver and um no amount of excuses that one comes up with can say it you know i'm not mad at these young men i think they went up there they gave their they gave their all i think they're all very talented Rasheen mcdonald uh Rashawn clark who by the way this is his first senior um hurdle sorry his first senior uh relay that i am aware of he's never done this before um and antonio watson of course sandra and barnes who really rose to the occasion throughout this entire series another great find look people we have some great 400 meter runners young men jamaica is about to dominate i'm very very happy but had to be man and say i was wrong i was wrong i was wrong i was wrong but this, of course, is my two cents. Now, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit notification bell, hit the like button. Remember, your royals, kings, and queens. Bless up.